What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and I apologize for my throat, but anyways, let's get on with it. And today we're going to be talking about a new fighting game coming out in 2022 that you guys should keep an eye on. Now before we get into the game too much, I'm going to show you guys the one minute trailer that PlayStation uploaded onto their YouTube channel right now. Now, not too much to really unravel there. It looks stunning. It looks amazing. But let's get a bit deeper into what this game is about. Now, I'm going to have the gameplay on a constant rotation in front of me in just a moment. But this game is Die by the Blade. As of right now, it is a 1v1 sword dueling game as well as on its full release having a story driven campaign. Now this is from the guys over at Triple Hill Interactive and they spoke a little bit about Die by the Blade on the PlayStation blog. Now right off the bat they state that it will be coming to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 in 2022. And they say here, one thing we all love was playing classic PlayStation titles like Bushido Blade and Way of the Samurai, where we were immersed in what felt like real combat situations where we had to quickly plan and adapt strategies to defeat the opponents. It wasn't about mashing buttons on the gamepad, it was about performing perfectly timed strikes to disable the opponent and win the battle. And they go on to say, using this as our inspiration, we have created a 1v1 sword fighting game set in a gritty samurai punk world where a modern cyberpunk aesthetic merges with traditional Japanese inspired themes. Our dynamic one hit kill combat system brings to life tense and exciting combat where every ounce of player's skill, strategy and patience will be needed to best their opponents. Your choice of weapon will be vitally important in your success or failure as a warrior of the sword. So we've worked closely with martial art experts to faithfully recreate an arsenal of traditional weapons and fight moves to master in-game and by using motion capture sessions we can bring a real sense of realism to each fight. Now before we jump any further into what they said I'm going to put a few screenshots up on screen right now from the PlayStation blog. Screenshots you wouldn't have seen in that gameplay video that I showed you at the start and throughout this video. Now right off the start I'm a huge nerd for simulation. I'm a huge nerd for realism. Now this is a game that I am fucking buzzing for. For Honor was the game that was going to be like this but For Honor turned into as you guys may know a bit of a cheese fest, a bit of a spam fest. There wasn't too much skill after the first six or seven months of For Honor in my opinion. It was always who can push you off the edge first then who is just going to be defensive all the time there was no incentive whereas this a one hit kill 1v1 now that is fucking exciting they then go on to mention another important part of die by the blade i wanted to share with you are the playable characters the team have created a roster of seven playable characters all with their own unique backstories and bring their own unique personalities to gameplay. They then say the team worked hard to add a wide range of customization options so players can tailor their visual style, that's just epic because I'm a customization nerd, before heading into one of our thrilling game modes. The blend of samurai punk meets traditional Japanese can create some stunning character visuals. Each weapon also defines the moveset of the roster of customizable characters, from the fine precision of a katana to the quick maneuverability of a wakashi. I actually don't know what that weapon is, but that's fucking awesome. We want each weapon to feel unique to the player and to add another depth to the strategic gameplay. And one of the final parts they say here is they say, speaking of game modes, I have lots to talk about here, but I don't want to give too much away too soon. So all I will say is that Die by the Blade will offer a 1v1 online multiplayer, a story driven single player campaign, cross play support, as well as tournaments and additional ranked online modes. I'll share more of these as the development progresses, 
but there will be some truly exciting game modes to get stuck into. I'm excited to see all the hard work the team is coming to life on the screen and hope I have given you a little taster of what to expect when Die by the Blade releases on PS4 and PS5 in 2022. And still there, until then, stay safe and may your swords stay sharp, warriors. So just from that little video and those screenshots that I put up on screen, we got a little taste of what Die by the Blade will really be like. And for me, a single player is awesome, but a 1v1 online, to be honest, I'm not much of a 1v1 guy when it comes to online. The last time I 1v1'd people was UFC 3, and before that was Modern Warfare 2 on Rust, undefeated with the intervention. Just, just saying, not a flex, just saying. However, this seems like a game that I could stream for 12 hours a day. This seems like a game where I could challenge you guys on repeat and sometimes a mistake is over. One hit kill. It makes sense. You know, if you've got a, if you've got a katana and you slice someone's throat, there is no health bar going down. Your, your, your throat is gone. Your head may be on the floor and you might still be standing. It's going to be, if done right, a truly beautiful game. Um... A brilliant game to play, a very replayable game, because you're always going to have a new experience. There's always new weapons, new characters, the single players. Well, not, not to mention trophy hunting. Uh, very interesting game. I very much look forward to it. Uh, I hope you guys learned a little something here today. And don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on this game. Is it something you'd be interested in? 1v1 fighting games are on the up and up at the minute, guys. Esports Boxing Club, Die by the Blade. Lots to look forward to in the fighting world. And next year, 2022... I'm going to see if I can get a little bit more information at some point on this game because this is something I'm very, very much looking forward to. And I've been wanting to make a video on it for a little while and uh, I thought I'd do it right now. So thank you as always for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.